Hi guys, Moz here from Moz 6510 Models, a channel dedicated to help you become a better scale modeler. On the bench tonight, we have the brand new tooling Airfix 148 scale de Havilland Tiger Moth. Code for this one is A. 04104 as i said it's a brand new tool in there's not much online at the moment i i haven't personally seen one finished built yet but as i said it only came last thursday so hopefully in the next two or three weeks i'm going to get on and build it the box art is really special it, it looks really nice they've gone for the red and white check which is the tiger moth K2585, which is the finished colours of the Royal Air Force Central Flying School Aerobatic Team, which is, I think, based at the Shuttleworth Collection at the Old Warden Aerodrome in Bedfordshire. So for this one here, she, it comes with two, two uh, designs. You can either have this one, which then you will need the colours 11, which is silver, 19 which is bright red 24 which is trainer yellow 33 matte black 53 gunmetal and then you'll need a 78 for the cockpit green there is also this one here which will be silver gunmetal cockpit green and black okay so there's two schemes you could go for so just looking on the side of the box obviously again you have your warning symbols and uh, there's your barcode there and, and your code A04104. Side of the box again, you have you have the the great art there. Sorry about the light, um, but you have the great artwork there. And then on the side, it then explains a little bit about the De Havilland Tiger Moth, and then also the two the 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 two designs you can produce. It's a uh, number two skill, so you will need a little bit of experience by either doing a couple of starter kits. But this will be good if you're further on in that and you get your air fixed flying hour, which is your way of getting tokens so that you collect enough tokens. You can get a free kit from the Airfix website. So let's have an open of the box and it's a top opening box. And inside we'll put that to one side. You're going to have a bag full of sprues. You're going to have instructions and also quite a big decal sheet because it is 148 scale first off let's look at the um the decals very very crisp i can honestly say that the airfix company in recent times are producing some of the best decal sheets in any kit i really do believe that quote me in, in the comments below if you disagree that there are others but to be fair, their, their decal sheets look so crisp and so well designed, so well laid out. You can clearly see what you need next, clearly numbered. And as I said, bring it up to the camera here, you can see they are just looking so crisp and nice. The the dots are quite central. And there's your yellow there for you. So basically, you've got the, your, two, your two styles there, whichever one you pick. But I will say very, very nice indeed on the decal sheet well done airfix so inside we have obviously the the sprues you have one two three sprues you also have your clear sprue with your with your glass and um that does look very it's quite tiny actually but very nice no scratches on them no bubbling so that's a clean piece of uh, plastic there. Uh, with the three sprues, we'll start off with this one here, which is the main fuselage. There it is. Very, very nice, very crisp, very clean again. As I said, because it's a brand new tool, you're not going to see much flash. Nice size for 148, this this kit. Um, it looks like there's the, uh, there's the engine there. The, the the flaps on the on the back the tail yeah very very nice you see see the see the the nice bit of 
uh, rivets in there because we're going to we'll count the rivets. One, two. I'm only joking. I'm not going to count the rivets. <laughs> we're not rivet counters here. Like I say, I'm I'm quite I'm quite lazy when it comes to the model building. If you can't see it, I don't I don't paint it. That's frame A. A sprue A. That one. Oh, frame A. That's interesting. Normally it would say sprue A, sprue B, and sprue C, doesn't it? But having the word frame is a little bit different. Whether they're just um, going through different markets, different languages. So this one is frame B, or should I say frame uh, sprue B, which has the propeller. Okay, very, very nice indeed. Again, detail. See that there, look at that. Just a nice bit of detail there. Get it in the light. Very, very nice. Let's try and get it a bit closer. There you go. Okay, seen that? Brilliant. Again, some rivets there. What's rivets there in the in the middle? Nice, very, very nice. And then sprucey, which is more of your little bits. There's there's your frame there, you know, that goes in between your your wings. So you've got some nice detail there, nice detail on the on the wheels and on the hubs. All very good. There's the seat, cockpit there. Very, very nice. You can see it all the way through. So you can see what you're looking at. Nothing broken so far. Very, very nice indeed. So, so instructions, uh, coloured um, on the front. It's a booklet, not just a piece of paper. Again, um, Airfix have become very, very good at their build plans. They It looks really good. Look, you've got a bit of colour there for where you paint inside for the cockpit green. Uh, you, and everything else, as you see, it's cockpit, just the way it's all come together nicely. Moving over. Parts for the uh, exhaust there. I think that's the exhaust, is it, or the engine? Just go through, there's exhaust pipe there, all your framework. On the nose there, some night. They are really, really good instructions. I can't fault the instructions here. Do not glue part C25, use as a jig and file away the area of the fuselage highlighted in green. So there you are there, you file that off. Then you do your, 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 your tail section. Turning over, start attaching the wings, uh, the, the frames for the wings. There's no word for these. I don't know if there's a word for them. Let's have a look it up. Again, you go down, no A scheme, add decals 17 uh, before adding parts. So before you put them on, you need to do yeah, your decals first, which is good. Very clear on that instruction there. So you've got, ah, I see. So you do have a choice of props. Propellers there, can you see? B3, B4. So you have a choice which one you have. I did notice actually, that's what I was looking at the, why you would have the different type you've got. See, what number is this one? This one's... Three and four, B three and B four. But you also have number ten. I wonder where number ten goes then. A ten or C ten, sorry. I've not seen C ten yet. Maybe I'm just missing something. The final just uh, shows you how to put the cables in uh, for the rigging underneath, between the two wings. And then you have your call-outs here on here. So basically, do not worry, you don't have to paint the red and white. You could do if you wanted to, you could spray it. But you have the, the, the wing parts there. And then underneath, actually, that's supposed to be the, these must be the top. And then you've got the ones underneath. Yeah, all pretty good there. So there's that one. And then on this side, spray it all that, that silver and or grey. 
and then you've got the yellow or you could even put them on yourself you could even put them on by airbrushing them in and with a template so yeah looking pretty good i'm quite impressed with that i don't understand why there's three propellers i understand why there's two but i don't know where that other propeller is just looking maybe i'm just seeing something that i shouldn't be but maybe when i do the kit i'll understand but yeah, there's definitely three propellers there. So you've got your, your B and your 4. Your, four, your B, B3 and your B4. <laughs> just looking now just to make sure. You don't put it in as a spare, do you? Oh. Yeah. Interesting. So you've got one propeller there. Then you have the two variants here. C10. Anyways. So that's it, the new tooled Airfix 148 de Havilland Tiger Moth. If you liked the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed but would like to, click subscribe. But also touch the bell so that you'll be notified of later videos. Until next time, stay safe. Cheers.